Hello, welcome back to another episode. In House of the Dragon Episode 5, Lord Corley's Valerian boasted that House Valerian controls half the realm's dragons, but is this true? The Sea Snake and his wife, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, married their son, Laner, to Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, the heir to the Iron Throne. King Viserys Targaryen wanted this wedding to bring the errant House Valerian back into the Iron Throne's good graces after years of estrangement, and the king got his wish. Dragons continue to be the Targaryen's most powerful weapon in Westeros. The winged, fire-breathing beasts are House of the Dragon's nuclear weapons, and only those with dragon blood descended from Old Valyria can bond with and ride a dragon. House Valerian, unlike the Targaryens, grew its power and influence through sea trade and shipping. Lord Corlys commands Westeros' most powerful navy, and his voyages have made House Valerian the richest in the Seven Kingdoms. Viserys strained his ties with the Sea Snake by marrying Lady Alicent Hightower instead of Corlys' daughter, Lena, causing a schism that lasted years as the Valerians and Prince Daemon Targaryen went to war with the Triarchy over the Stepstones. Without a doubt, Rhaenyra's political marriage to Laner is also intended to give House Targaryen some control over House Valerian's dragons. House Valerian has how many dragons? Seasmoke and Melis, belonging to Laner and Rhaenys, are the known dragons of House Valerian. When Daemon killed the crabfeeder in House of the Dragon Episode 3, Lena rode Seasmoke in battle. When she was briefly courted by King Viserys, the young Lena also mentioned how Vhagar, Westeros' largest living dragon, was spotted nesting in Driftmark. Lena's destiny is to unite with Vagar and become her dragon rider. Although it hasn't been shown in House of the Dragon, this could give House Valerian three dragons. But, as Lord Corlys claims, this is half the realm's dragon population. How many dragons are there in House of the Dragon right now? Season 1 of House of the Dragon confirmed that the show will feature 17 dragons in various ways. House of the Dragon has confirmed Rhaenyra's dragon, Cyrax, Daemon's dragon, Carrox, and Dreamfire, who hasn't been seen but had one of her dragon eggs stolen by Daemon in House of the Dragon Episode 2. Furthermore, the skull of Beleriand the Black Dread has been seen twice in the Red Keep's bowels. There are said to be five dragons in King's Landing's Dragon Pit, which means that three have yet to be named in addition to Cyrox and Dreamfire. Even if those are the only dragons in Westeros, Lord Corley's assertion that the Valerians' three dragons account for half of the realm's population is incorrect. More dragons will also be introduced in House of the Dragon. While some dragons who will play a role in the upcoming Targaryen Civil War are likely to be born during the ten-year time gap between House of the Dragon Episodes 5 and 6, others such as Vermithor, Silverwing, and Sheepstealer should still be alive and well on Dragonstone. Why can Valerians ride dragons? Despite the fact that their surname is not Targaryen, the Valerians can ride dragons because their ancestors are from Old Valyria, just like Viserys and Rhaenyra's. The Targaryens and Valerians are the last surviving families who arrived in Westeros from the east before the doom destroyed Old Valyria. House Valerian made their fortune through ships, but they retain the genetic proclivity to bond with and ride dragons. As a result of Laner's marriage to Rhaenyra and Daemon's upcoming marriage to Lena, the Valerians will play a larger role as dragon riders in House of the Dragon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.